Hello, my beautiful ninjas. Welcome to Warrior Wednesday. I know we're running a little late here on the East Coast. Better late than never, right? So um, it is 10.05 Eastern Standard Time, which means it's 7.05 on Pacific Time. So whatever you're tuning in from, say hello, say what's up, give yourself some hearts. And team, when you catch the replay, comment with hashtag Encore. Let me know you caught this replay. So with that being said, happy Wednesday, Warrior Wednesday. Excited to be with you. And also also excited to share with you some ideas on how you can you can be on track with your goals so if you haven't noticed today is the 23rd of february so we are in pisces season so welcome to our february pisces welcome to all of you and uh, we're going to be approaching march very very soon in less than a week we will be marching forward you will be marching forward into your awesomeness and also into your greatness so um yesterday was 2 22 and if you didn't catch my video from yesterday i invite you to check it out because it's going to benefit you on uh, getting outside of your comfort zone and doing something outrageous and memorable that you want to commemorate and be proud of by the end of this year. So if you have not caught up with that video, I invite you to catch it either on Instagram or on YouTube, which is at Zena Solomon. All right. So with that being said, I want to build on what we talked about yesterday. So in terms of um, moving forward with your goals, so we're more than halfway through the quarter, Q1 2022. We're actually more uh, more like a third of a way in the quarter, as a matter of fact. And something I've been discussing with my clients, <clears throat> whether they're in a group or privately, is uh, doing check-ins evaluating where we are with our goals and getting connected and dialed in so we can course correct and we have enough time before the end of the quarter so you you my friend can finish the quarter really strong so with that being said my intention is that you perform at a very very high level and that's why I'm doing this video for you before I call it a night because I'm going to be up early teaching a class in the morning so Let's do a quick check-in with your goals. Let's do a quick check-in. So how are you doing? Are you on track? Are you off track? What's happening? What's progressing? Are you even connected to your goals? Which is really interesting because um, I have a couple clients that they forgot what their goals are. They didn't write it down for whatever reason. So don't let that be you because, uh, and if that is you, it's okay. It's not, nothing is wrong. Nothing is bad or anything. It's just being aware of what did you say you want to focus on and how you got sidetracked or went sideways or got distracted or whatever happened for you that you get to be present to so you can shift. So here's how you can be on track with your goals. First of all, get connected to what your goals are, right? So are you connected with your goals? What are they? Why was it important for you to achieve it? Why do you want to achieve it? And what is it that you really want? Because there's an intention behind achieving a specific goal. We all have goals in life. We all do, whether it's health-related goals, relationship-related goals, business-related goals, uh, career-related goals, whatever that looks like for you, uh, you have goals. We have goals. I have goals. So why is that important for you to achieve those goals? What is it that you truly want? Because when, you're get when you get dialed in on what you want and you're clear on your goals, hi, thanks for tuning in. Mark, great to see you. Great to see you, Mark. Thanks for tuning in. Um, when you're connected to your goals and why you want to achieve it, then you'll be dialed in and you will actually take the steps. So are you also connected with your progress? How are you doing? Are you on track? Are you off track? Uh, if you're on track, this is something I've been coaching my clients on. If you're on track, great. What's been working that you're on track because you want to focus on what's working. What's working you want to do more of in life in general, like what's working. Okay, this is working. Great. Let's do more of that, you know? And if you're not on track, if you're off track how far off track are you are you completely off track um like how lot like what what needs to happen what gets to happen for you to shift so you can be on track remember the end of the quarter is the end of march so we have plenty of time yet time is very deceptive because time will go by super quick as you all know you know what i'm saying so get connected to that how are you tracking your goals like how are you tracking it how are you knowing that you're on track you're not you're not on track how are you how are you assessing it how are you tracking it so that's those are things that i want you to be present to so you're actually creating your life by design versus like living in a rat race of uh nonsense is what i'm gonna say about that all right so what are you building momentum in so where are you building your momentum are you building momentum 
and the direction of your goals and the direction of what you want? Or are you actually building momentum in the opposite direction? Are you building momentum in uh, the, you know, like uh, on the on not on track space because you could build momentum there and that's not going to be a really good place for you to be in if you're building a lot of momentum being off track because it is it takes a lot of effort to be uh to build momentum first and foremost it takes a lot of energy okay let's put it that way. it takes energy to build momentum so if you have already are in momentum space build on it don't stop continue to build on that momentum and notice where are you building momentum are you building it towards your goals or are you building it away from your goals and those are things that you get connect you get to get connected to because if you're noticing you're building a momentum in the direction opposite of your goals that's an opportunity for you to stop and course correct so you can actually be on track so something for you to notice okay and what are your bit what are your biggest distractions where you get where do you get the most distracted what pulls your time energy resources money like where do you get pulled in in different directions those are things you get to notice so you're interrupting those distractions you're eliminating those distractions maybe even outsourcing some of these distractions i'm not really sure like it depends on what you're doing right so these are things for you to consider so you actually get to be on track so a few more things know that if you're in busy energy busy does not mean productive because busy means that you are wasting a lot of effort energy and time and it doesn't necessarily mean that you're creating a specific result being productive means you're actually putting your time energy resources efforts etc in building a result so being productive is very different than being um being busy so notice are you being busy are you busy but you're not like you're busy all day but you created nothing <laughs> i've had days like that by the way so that's still feel bad, you know, um, or are you being productive? Like you're actually generating something, creating something. So those are things for you to take a, a look at. And you want to ask yourself, where are you pouring, pouring your time, energy, resources, effort in? Are you pouring it in uh, your focus, your goals, your what you're here to create? Or where, where, where is that going? Where is that flowing? Where are you pouring that that uh, energy? Okay. And um, where can you better allocate your time, energy, effort? etc so you're actually focused on achieving your goals that's really the point of this whole conversation all right and what's one thing i'm gonna wrap this up with a couple more things team right so we're gonna um what's one thing or one shift that you can implement right away that will move you towards your goals what is that for you if you can comment that'd be awesome because sharing is caring and being generous and contributing makes a difference not only for you it'll also make a difference for others who are tuning into this so what is one shift that you can implement that'll move you forward towards your goal and finally What's the one thing that is outside of your comfort zone that will catapult you to creating the result that you want? What is that for you? Because there's, we always have things that are outside of our comfort zones. Are you willing to get outside of your comfort zone? Are you willing to get comfortable being uncomfortable? Because that's exactly precisely how you're going to grow. So how you're going to grow. I'm going to say that again. All right. So with that being said, Team, here's how we're going to wrap up. Here's your mission for this week. Here's how we're going to wrap up. So you get to do the one thing that is way outside of your comfort zone. You get to share what that is so you can inspire other people. What is the one thing that will catapult you towards your goals that's going to shift everything? Like once you do that one thing, it's just going to shift the, the whole trajectory of where you're going with that goals. You get to actually take some time and uh, assess and evaluate what that is and share with us what is that for you so we can support you. And then secondly, you get to do an evaluation on how you're progressing with your goals are you on track off track whatever that looks like all right so with that being said thanks for tuning in to warrior wednesday share what your biggest takeaway was make sure you share this video with others you care about so we can spread the love spread the knowledge also spread transformation all right thanks so much for tuning in i'll see you next week at warrior wednesday i'm zina solomon and have an awesome night bye for now